Let's play a game, shall we? Hey there! Welcome to Peter Jackson's King Kong, the official game of the movie. As you can probably tell from this two-screen system, this is in fact the DS version, which I hear is actually the weakest one. As you can see, I actually created a file already because I needed to I wanted to test it. No, no thanks. Erase game, yeah. May as well start over from the beginning. But let's start from the beginning. Now, like I said, people have given this... This is considered the black sheep of the, the Peter Jackson's King Kong, you know, of those ports. The PSP version is basically the same as the console versions, except the other characters aren't there. But other than that, and you know, some some minor bugs, it's, it's more or less on level of the console version. But apparently this one is a completely different beast altogether. Like I said, it's considered the black sheep of the family, so I'm gonna check it out and see how bad it is. Carl Denham has lost his confidence. This producer once had him as a director to save his career. Continue. Once and for all, he decides to produce a movie with his friend and scene scenario writer Jack Driscoll. Starring Ann Darrow. The, the film's heroine. For the purposes of the film, they land with some sailors on Skull Island, a lost island in the Pacific Ocean. I can't believe it. This is it. The island of the skull. Good. At least we found it. Okay. I've got the camera. I've got my leading lady. Jack, stick with me. I may need, I may need you for rewrites. Jack, I got a bad feeling about this. I wish Miss Daryl had stayed on the ship. Yeah, in case you didn't know, yeah. This is a quote directly from the other versions. I wouldn't under underestimate Anne. She's from New York. She's used to the jungle. That isn't from the other versions. Keep her steady, men. Straight ahead. Okay. They're not even gonna show a representation of the crash or anything. That's just weird, don't you think? Okay, but this, unfortunately the second I let go of the touch screen, it just spins like crazy, so I'm gonna have to not do that. Okay, from the beginning it, it looks like, it looks like a downgraded version of the other ones, of the actual console versions. I own the game on PSP. I played it on GameCube, but I don't own it on GameCube. I should probably get it back. Or maybe for, you know, one of the other versions. I could easily get it on PC if I wanted to. Apparently it's available on PC, and, you know, my computer could easily handle it on Xbox 360 settings if I wanted to. You know, if anyone actually wants to see me play the PC version of King Kong, Peter Jackson's King Kong, let me know. Look over there! The entrance to a cave! Jack, could you check it out? Okay, coming with me, Ann? Okay. Well, I guess that's the one and s that's the one and only thing it has of the PSP version. It actually has the other as other characters with you, or at least Ann, even though she looks kind of ugly, kind of really ugly. The models for the the models for GoldenEye 64 looked way more convincing than this. I'm just saying. This is not the this is not on the DS necessarily. It's it's the developer. Because come on, there's no excuse for that. Why does that look so bad? It just looks bad. The target should be in the center of the screen. Press L or R to throw it. Right. L or R, press down. There we go. Just pull the lever, crunk. That was the right lever. What's the point of that? I didn't even run into anything. Uh, that's kind of stupid. There are no enemies yet. Why is there? Why did you give me two spears? In order, touch the screen twice, and the icon located near the lever. Okay, and pull down that lever. That's a that's a good imp, that's a good uh, NPC partner. Yep. Loading. Wow, you're gonna have loading screens every two seconds. I know the DS isn't the most powerful thing around, but come on. There were DS and N64 games that were bigger than this. I'm pretty sure there are Game Boy Advance games that are legitimately 3D. And uh, have bigger levels than this, so th there's no excuse. That wasn't so bad. Just grab another one. 
Kind of awkward that you have to, you have to press the touch screen for it though. It's kind of weird. I mean, I'd rather just do the, do the fire button, especially if you don't have anything already. It just, it should just automatically grab with the fire button. Ha, take that, you stupid crab. Giant enemy crab, attack the weak, weak point for massive damage! Sorry, nobody's ever gonna let that go. Why is there tearing? I mean, I know there's graphical tearing in the PSP version, but that's because it's trying to approximate the, the console version. This looks like it was made specifically for the DS. You shouldn't have any reason whatsoever to have tearing in an engine that you made specifically for this system. Okay, I'm starting to see... Actually, it's not, it's not that bad so far. It's not terrible. It's kind of mediocre. I mean, it's showing a lot... It's showing that it's not really polished at all, especially compared to the other versions. I mean, you've got the console version. It looks spectacular. The PSP version looks slightly lesser, and it's obviously not got the characters. It's got some limitations going on there. And especially with, with the Dinosaur Stampede, you can tell that it doesn't have the processing power of the other consoles, but... You know, it holds its own in most regards. It still manages to look pretty good. But, you know, this just looks majorly stripped down. I know they obviously weren't, weren't going to be able to port over the console versions or even the PSP version, but uh, couldn't they have tried better than this? Just saying. Had to say, are you going to keep re respawning now? Okay, this is slightly bigger. It's starting to take this more seriously. Jack, help! Take that, you piece of crap. Wow, that is a terrible muzzle flash. That is the worst muzzle flash I've ever seen. Especially on a commercial game. I mean, come on. Did you even try? Oh, but it's the limitations of the DS. The original Doom on the Game Boy Advance had a better, had a more convincing muzzle flash than that. So don't tell me it's system limitations. It's clearly not. Anne. Anne! Well, I'll give you that. You included voice clips. I'm surprised you bothered. I'm surprised you didn't use your own approximation of it, like in, in. I'm surprised I didn't need to hear that. Yeah, I, I'm kind of expecting it. All right, I can't use that. I tried to use the scope, but obviously this weapon doesn't have one. Well, it's just a spear. Why would it have a scope? That would be weird if it had a scope. I mean, maybe binoculars. What the? All oh, right, another lever. What the? And. And go up there. Okay. There we go. She had to get up there on her own. She had to be near it. Apparently she saw it and went there on her own volition, but she still had to have me shout at her to actually do it. Because she's stupid! She knew that she had to go up there awaiting for Adam's approval. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah, calm down. Oh, look at that. Hmm. Okay. Apparently you can only hold one weapon at a time. That's stupid. But whatever. Well, I mean, you, technically there's two, because I'm holding a spear, but, you know, only one gun. Oh, great, this is their attempt to do the giant crab. Seriously, look at that piss-poor muzzle flash. I mean, the game isn't, isn't too bad from a gameplay perspective so far. But from a visual standpoint, it is garbage. And... I like to think I'm pretty forgiving because it's the DS, but you can do better than this. This is not on the system. It's like, it's almost like freaking WWE for the, the Switch. Well, okay, it's not that bad. At least you can play it competently. At least, at least it's not lagging to hell and back. Then again, I'm using an emulator, but still. But still, I don't think on the the actual hardware, it was weak either. I think it had a pretty smooth frame rate. Well, at least I hope it had a smooth frame rate on the actual system. There we go, finally. It's a good thing he's got a, a limitless magazine clip. 
And quit being stupid! You're literally staring at the lever. Wouldn't you have figured out by now that you're supposed to pull the levers? I mean, come on, Anne. We're all very disappointed in you, Anne. If that even is your real name. It's probably not. You know, and I'm, I'm just gonna do that for the hell of it because... This pipe is pretty long and you never know what might happen. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people will care if I cheat on this game. I'm sure everyone will care that I've upset the delicate balance of King Kong for the Nintendo DS. Stupid. And why are you standing there? You could at least run towards me. Come on. Do I have to do everything? Oh, Anne is stupid. I mean... By, by NPC partner on DS standard, she's stupid. As hell. I mean, Metroid Prime Hunters has bot AI that is reasonably well. I mean, heck, Quake 3 has bots that are reasonably well choreographed. So there is no excuse here. She, she doesn't even try to defend herself or even run away from them. She's like, oh, boop, do, 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 do. I'm just gonna stand here and get killed. That's okay. It's okay. I'm sure they won't kill me horribly or anything. What in the world? Now there are just there are just long sections where nothing is nothing is happening. Or am I going in the wrong direction? The game wasn't exactly clear on that. Probably doesn't help that there's fog everywhere. I'm going in the wrong direction, aren't I? What the? Was I going in the wrong direction? I was going in the wrong direction, wasn't I? Stupid game. And yet the spear regenerated itself, that's weird. There wasn't a spear when I was going that way, but now all of a sudden I turn around and there's a spear. Okay, not even gonna question it. Not even gonna question it. Okay, maybe I'm being too harsh on this game. It's not that bad. I mean, obviously, I would never recommend it to anyone. If you want a King Kong game, get literally every other port. This isn't terrible. It's it's uh, it's playable. You can play it. You can you can. It's serviceable. It's one of those dull, mediocre games where, while it's technically playable in every possible aspect, it's it's a game, and you can play it. It's not Superman 64, or ET for the Atari 2600. It's just dull. There's nothing to it. Oh. Okay. And it's just gonna keep standing there. For no reason. Just because. I guess I should have figured that the game gave you a lever for a reason. In fact, now I'm pretty sure that wasn't where I came in from. That was just another area. Which is weird. Makes no sense to me. Okay, okay, here we go. Got no another loading area. I'll admit that was that was a better selection of areas than I thought. It was a bigger area than I thought, especially after the previous ones. What the heck? Didn't even see him. Man, I must be going blind. What is with the game's fog anyway? Does the game have to have that low of a draw distance? Is that how bad this is? It has to have a draw distance of a few feet in front of you? This this may be the DS, but there are open world games on the system. I mean, heck, if you look at Cops Recruit, it, it is basically a GTA-esque city that it manages to get without having to have fog in front of your face. So I don't get it. Do I have to destroy this? Okay, I can. That's good. That's really good. I mean, I don't remember seeing bees in the other versions. Not the bees! Not the bees, no! Not the bees! No! <coughs> and do what you've been doing the last million times. 
I'm sure eventually you'll, fi you'll figure it out without me having to shout it out, out at you. Anne! Anne! Do what you did before. It's not that hard. Okay. Well, at least I got a full clip now. Full clip on backup. Ten magazines on backup. If you played any of the other King Kong games, you'll know why I quoted that. Why I said that, because he says that a lot. You can actually check how much ammo you have. It doesn't just display it on the on the touch screen. You press a certain button, and then he, then he, he, he vocalizes how much ammo he's got left. Crap. This isn't good. Oh, crap. This one sends out two at once. Well, that's a bit ridiculous, isn't it? <clears throat> Take that, you prick. Yeah, prick! Quit sticking your pricks in me and just go away, you prick. Oh, look at that. There's one I can do myself. Really? Even even though I can reach it myself, I have to have Anne do it. And do this because I'm too lazy. I'm too good to be pre to be pulling these levers. Apparently. Oh. Okay, that's why. Okay, it makes more sense now. <laughs> My bad. That wasn't on the game, that was on me. Eh, that's not bad. Look at this. Another full clip. Isn't that generous of the game? Or kind of condescending of the game because it assumed that I would actually need it. You piece of crap. You piece of crap. Freaking crabs coming out of nowhere and then they they come up from behind. Those freaking crabs, they get you from behind, don't they? Yep, they do. Jack, help. Oh, crap. It's not even going after you. It's going after me. What the heck? What is going on here? That crab isn't even moving. It's just... It's just sort of walking in place. What's going on here? Oh, well. Anne doesn't seem to care, so why should I? Let, let's just go. Anne, let's just go. That, that crab is clearly... Clearly tripping balls, so... Screw it. Take that, you stupid bees. Damn it. Well, at least it's realistic in that regard. Because once bees sting you, they die. It's good to know that this King Kong game on the DS has such realism. Or at least a basic amount of realism. Even though this is getting really repetitive. When do I get to play as Kong? That would be much better if I get to play as Kong. Why is Anne just standing there? Anne? Hello? Aren't you gonna work your magic? Come on, Anne. We don't have all day. What in the world? That's where I came from, isn't it? No, it's just, it's just a dead end. So, wherever I came from... Okay, I'm pretty sure that's where we came in from. And come this way. And any girl, I know you can do it. I know you can do it if you really try. Great, now Anne's the one that's being stupid. Anne? Annie? Oh, what's going on here? What the heck is this? What is with these textures anyway? Just the, just the way they're displayed. Does this even have texture perspective? What the heck? Look look at these textures specifically. Are these textures just shrunk down a huge amount? Because if you look if you look around it, you see the pixel size is very noticeable. And then th this like it's shrunk down. Man, do they even beta test this crap? Like I said, the game is playable, but it's it's full of problems. Look at that. that that's probably how it was supposed to look. But they screwed up on it somewhere. Somewhere along the process, they kind of goofed. And apparently Anne's just going to sit there forever. Do I have to throw this at you, Anne? Do I have to spear? Do I have to spear you? 
because I will. I will spear you the agony. Oh, is it because of the crab? Is that is that why the crab is being stupid? So you have to be stupid too? And quit giving into peer pressure. Just because the crab is being stupid doesn't mean you have to be stupid too. And the crab isn't even disappearing. They can't even get their mechanics right. Yep, that's what kind of game this is, where they can't even get their disappearing mechanics right. I kill the crab and everything's just a glitch fest. Isn't it just great? It just great, isn't it? <laughs> okay, Anne, I killed it. Are you gonna... Are you gonna actually move now? Anne! Anne! What is she staring at? Is this what you're staring at? I assure you, there is nothing there to stare at. This is a completely empty space, Anne. I mean, if you were staring at this, I could understand, because this is kind of weird, but... Other than that, there's nothing to look at. Now, if you could please cooperate with me for a bit, Anne. I'd really love to get out of this, Anne. Come on, Annie. Annie, girl. Any girl, are you gonna do something? Are you gonna do anything? Okay, you know what, Annie, I didn't want to have to do this, but you forced me to. You forced me to show you just how crappy these muzzle flashes are. Look at them! And tremble! It's so ugly, it'll turn you to stone! That really... Although, that might be a good idea. Doesn't seem so bad to me right now. I wouldn't mind turning to stone. Okay? What the hell was that all about? I bump into him and then he suddenly dies. The crab has suddenly died. <laughs> oh, this is a buggy mess. Whoever made this, whoever's job it was to play test this, you should probably just go ahead and fire them because they did not do their job properly. Just saying. There we go. Now I can continue. Hopefully at some point I can play as Kong. That would be great. You know. The creature that this game is named after. That'd be nice. Just to break things up. It feels like everything on the island is trying to kill us. We have to get off this island. We must try to get back home. Do you hear that? It sounds like a plane. It's Captain Eaglehorn. It seems the sailors launched a distress signal. Down here, Captain Eaglehorn, we're here! What is he doing? He's leaving! He needs to find a stretch of water that's protected from the storm. First, we must open this door. I'll go have a look! Yes, there's a winch up here. I can open the door for you. Ah! Uh, no, let me go! Jack, Jack! No! Ah, no! This is such a bad game that I'm not even going to try to, to act with this. I'm just going to be as corny. I'm, I'm going to be like B-movie horror. Ah! No! Help! Jack! Is this where I get to play as the big boy himself? F no, never mind. Crap. Not yet. Well, that sucks. But I know you you don't play as King Kong for a while in the actual game too, but still. I mean after all that repetition I was hoping I was hoping it would at least throw me a bone here to break up the monotony. I mean it wasn't this boring in the actual No other version of the game is this dull. I assure you. In fact I I will be willing to do a let's play of the PSP version maybe. That's the only one I actually own, but I could probably get the PC version. I could probably let's play that if you guys want. Just to, just in case any of you are unaware that this is not a proper representation of the game. In case you didn't know that already. I mean, you may be separated from the others in the PSP game, but at least, at least the game functioned well. Freaking serious. And of course, it's got that stupid thing where the crab has to be made vulnerable before you can kill it. And then if it stops being vulnerable, well, then you just wasted your shot, didn't you? 
And I'm about to run out of ammo already. Oh well, I guess it's no big deal. The game certainly doesn't see it as a big deal because it's giving me, it's handing out ammo like freaking candy. Like they're, like they're Tic Tacs. It's handing out ammo like they're Tic Tacs. There's not even anything except for crabs. Is there anything except crabs? Because this is silly. Oh crap. Oh no, my vision is getting red. How will I see this? How will I appreciate these amazing visuals if my vision reds out and I die? I died. Yep, I died. In my defense, though, it's... Not the easiest game in the world to control. Just saying. Just saying! Seriously, though. It controls... Well, then again, it probably controls better on, on an actual DS, but I'm using a mouse to sort of drag it. And I have to stay within that dead zone because, as I demonstrated before, you take your hand out of the dead zone and all of a sudden, the touch screen goes crazy. There we go. Damn it. And of course, that's the time he has to reload. Why'd you give me an odd number of bullets, huh? Give me an odd number of bullets to work with. Which just makes it more difficult. Just saying. You could have made it easier for all of us. But you didn't. And I'm not even gonna get to play as King Kong, which is the... Which is a damn shame. Kind of hoping I'd get to play as the big boy himself, but I guess not. Because I'm never going to get past this. Okay, where are you hiding? And of course, there's another one just out of sight. Are you freaking kidding me? What was the three of them? What? What the hell is this? Give me a sec. There we go. Good. Are you freaking serious? There was another one! There was a freaking another one! There was four of them! Man, that sucks! Okay, hang tight again. Please tell me I'm in the clear. No, I'm not. Of course not. I'm never in the clear. I'm never in the freaking clear, am I? Am I in the clear now? Nope. There's another one! Oh, uh, when you grab the, the spear, it spawns one. Nope, they're, they're spawning on their own. Never mind. This is really starting to annoy me. How many of these freaking things are there? Okay, come on. Let's get through this already, huh? I don't want to have to fast forward this anymore. But I just want to get through this. Is that okay? Is that okay with you? Game. Game, are you okay with that? Is that cool with you, huh? Because I would really like to just get this over with already, huh? Eh? It's a super linear. A raptor. Frick. Well, that's it for me. Yep. There was no way I was going to survive that encounter. I didn't even have anything. Well, I guess I'll never play as King Kong. Whatever, hang tight. <laughs> Die, you piece of crap. Die. There was another one. Of course there's another one. Why wouldn't there be? Oh, come on. Quit taking so freaking long to reload, why don't you, huh? Huh? Well, that was not fun. But at least I guess I can get some kind of satisfaction about getting through it. That's the thing about these kind of games. I guess as long as I'm getting frustrated, I'm, I'm not getting bored, so... I guess I'd rather have that. I'm not really sure, though. Although you would think that this is the kind of point where... It would put me in King Kong's shoes. I mean, come on, just, just give me a taste. I just want a little taste before I have to end the Let's Play. Is that so hard? Is that so... Yeah, apparently it is. What the? Jack! Jack! Carl! 
Thank God. You got away from them. Yeah, and I shook them off. Come along. Hurry. I can't. I'm stuck. We gotta get this door open. Fantastic. Hey, you mind tossing me that gun, pal? I guess not. Fine, whatever, man. Whatever, man. Oh, look at these very distinct corridors. Just great, isn't it? Crap. Damn it, I don't even have anything to defend myself with. What am I supposed to use? My fists? I don't even have anything to defend myself with. I don't even have a spear. I don't have a pistol. I don't got nothing. I ain't got nothing. Hey, Carl. You mind tossing me that gun you got there? I'm gonna die. Fine, whatever. Carl's a prick. I hate him. He sucks. I don't care if you are Jack Black. You suck. Okay. Maybe I can hide in the alcove. Okay, I can. Cool. That's great. That's awesome. What the? Okay. I get it. I get what's going on here. You gotta be able to get... You gotta go from alcove to alcove. The game doesn't want you to fight. It wants you to, to run. I get what the game's trying to do. That doesn't mean I like it, but I get what the game's trying to do. Oh, whoops. Whoops. My bad. You're not very smart, are you? If I were you, I would have stayed there. And waited for me to come out. Because you, you could have had me trapped. Too bad for you, huh? I could go, out, go back there and fight him, but I don't want to. But I don't want to. Because screw him. Screw that stupid thing. Besides, I only have two of these and they gotta last. I don't even have a gun. Because apparently Jack lost his somehow. Somehow he magically lost it. In the ethos! And people thought it was weird that Samus loses her equipment between missions. This guy can't even keep his equipment between levels. Talk about Butterfingers, huh? Take this, you prick. Haha, <laughs> you can't get me, can ya? I thought he was smelling, he can't smell me. I'm, I'm hidden in plain sight. You're, you're stupid, aren't you? This thing is pretty stupid. It's a good thing for me, huh? Yeah, go back into your hidey hole. Nobody wants you here. You're stupid. You're very stupid. Well, that's my benefit, isn't it? We got scraps, right? What the heck? Dang it. Dang it. There's one behind me, isn't there? Yep. I knew it. I could hear them. I could smell them. I could even taste them. Maybe. What the? Okay, I finally got a gun. A, oh, a Tommy gun. Well, I may not be able to try out King Kong, but at least I'll be able to try out a Tommy gun before I leave. Right? That's good, right? This has bad written all over it. I'm doing that for my own good. What the? What the hell? Okay. Dang it. He died, didn't he? Yeah, screw that. I'm not going back there. Yeah, forget that. Yeah, but then that happened. Take that. Take that, you jerk. Take that, you prick. Hooray, I get a machine gun. Which manages to be less satisfying than the machine gun from Doom. I mean, heck, the machine gun from freaking Wolfenstein was more satisfying than this. Would you quit being a prick, please? And let me grab this. Oh, okay. I guess I'll just glitch through the world. That's a great way to end it off. 
So, that's it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like this graphical abomination, and I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and pleasant day. Maybe next time I'll play the PC version just to show you how much superior it is.